welcome to my channel my name is Doug and I'm back with an extra fountain pen video this week last Monday night Alan Light of the YouTube channel what I ink had a zoom meeting to discuss the relatively new pen BBS fountain pen model the pen BBS 348 but now I say relatively new because this pen came out in January and it's been an adventure for both of us trying to get our hands on one of these. The 348 is a test model. In fact, it has test edition stamped into the cap band. I will post a full review of this test model pen tomorrow. Alan is posting his review as we speak, and I'll put a link to that video in the description below for you to watch it. But Alan and I had a delightful conversation on Monday night about this pen and all things pen BBS that we wanted to share with our viewers. I even discuss the total failure I had with my new pen BBS 535 Year of the Ox after I had done the review. You'll want to see what happened to my pen, which is now the Year of the Dead Ox. So please enjoy our lively discussion about the pen BBS 348 test model, vacuumatic pump button whatever filler. I'll call it the press on the knob 20 times and it fills filler right now. Hi hey there, Doug. pen folks. Hey, Alan, good to see you. It's likewise, likewise. Hi, pen pals. Yes, it's been a few <laughs> months. We're now in, I think it was quite in the winter weather. January, January. Yeah, 18th, like that. So yeah, oh, yeah. So it, it's, uh, we're in the throes of uh, late spring, early summer here. Um, yeah. uh, of course, being in Canada, you're probably going to get your requisite two weeks of summer in any day now. We, we've been having it. It's been very yeah. hot lately. We just got yeah. back from the lake today. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah uh, first of all, I got to say um, thank you to Alan for waiting yeah. for so long because the saga of the 348. Yeah. Uh, the saga of the 348 pen, this came out in January or something, late January. And it was available on Taobao and mm -hmm. TV Focus. And I decided, well, we talked, you and I, about yeah. doing a co-pro about this new test model that Wong had come up with. Right. And said, okay. And I said, well, I'm going to get a, uh, one off TV Focus, and I'll buy you one, too. Right. And, uh, and then I'll have yours shipped to you and mine yeah. shipped to me. And we'll have them at the same time. Well, I ordered both of ours. I got a notice after a week that mine wasn't in and yeah. then after two weeks, I got a notice that yours wasn't in stock. There's two weeks gone by. They finally came up. Barney put them up on Etsy. You right. bought one, and right. I bought one. Yeah, that was March 14th. Yeah, mine arrived last week. So this yeah, is and I've had, and I've had my I don't I've had mine for I don't even remember how long I've had mine. It's been sitting still. I think so, you yeah. got yours in three weeks. Or something. Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty quick. And here we are in it's June, and we're gonna do this yeah. GoPro on the 348. Right. So, so before we talk about the 348, though, yes. I you've been teasing me and all your fans <laughs> yeah, yeah. with the saga of what happened to your 535 so yeah. apparently something after you record the video significant happened these be your 535 so tell us all about it well here's my 535 and i'm perfectly hiding the tail end of it <laughs> okay this, <laughs> okay we can i can start to guess i can yeah. start to guess yeah so i said in my review that it's a nice pen and everything it's just a bit unusual you know, writes beautifully and everything yeah probably not something i'm going to keep in and yeah. so I uninked it and cleaned it out, I pulled it out, and I greased everything. Right. And then I went to go put, uh, when I pulled the, uh, the stopper all the way out, the piston, right. the, uh, my camera doesn't focus, but maybe I put this in. Yeah. You might be able to see that that front O-ring is missing. Uh -huh. It's hard to see from here, but I'll take yeah. your word for it. Yeah, okay. uh, yeah. Maybe I'll zoom in on that in our recorded video so right. you can see that. But that, there's two O-rings on that piston. Yep. And the front O-ring um, rolled off when I pulled it out. It right. came off, and it was on the rod. Uh -huh. And so I put I pulled it back on, and greased it all up and everything, and went go to right. put it back in the back of the barrel, and it rolled back, and it's wedged in there, and I can't move it. It's literally you can't, can't move it. I cannot move it. And the other thing that happened here too was there's. You know those little spokes that are on the bayonet? Yeah, yeah. Right here, uh, right there. That uh -huh. piece came out of the back of the piston, which is screwed in. And so I screwed it back in. But then when you pull on it, it pulls right out. So it's stripped. You can no, pull no, no, no. But if you take the, if you take the nib out, the, the take way. the nib out, 
yeah. get it if there and then push the the rod all the way through the other end. Right. Um, I mean, it's a low percentage play, but it might work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Our friend Chris Rep say it. Yeah. Uh, from Chris Rep fifty two. Um, he looked at my review, and of course, he's got that eagle eye as an engineer. Right? <laughs> and he said, I noticed that you were getting some some uh, water or something behind yeah. that piston. Is everything okay with that? <laughs> oh, look so at that. he noticed, even in my video, that there was something wrong there. Uh, wow. But I, I also felt it was really, really tight. Other people's have been really easy to do. This one's really tight. Wow. And, of course, this is the 355 mechanism. Right. Right. And but this is narrower and that piston is smaller. Right. Than it's the not the same. It's not it's, it's not, not just same. a same mechanism. They actually That's retooled right. the whole thing, which is yeah. impressive in and of itself, because seeing it's a limited run and all that. Well, and we have yeah. to mention a retooling too for the three four three because yes. there's three three four eight. Right. You gotta get these numbers correct. Yeah. Three four eight uh has uh not just this is different for yep. the new filling system. Chris reminded me because he did it in his one months ago. Yeah, that that feed is different too. I know the it's feed, different. Well, it would have to the be different. The, to com well, to accommodate the breather tube, no matter what, yes, it would have to be different exactly. Feed, yeah. So now, but I pointed that out. The back yeah. end, uh, the tail end of the feeder is different. But right. he he pointed out that the fins are different. They're thicker. More, yeah, more they're not quite as thin, and they're not quite yeah. as delicate little flowers as you have on most uh, yeah. pen yeah. Yeah. So that's but they're, a nice they're still delicate, change. but yeah. They're still down, and the nib holder is different. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's a different pen. So let's segue. Let's talk about sure. the subject at hand. Yeah, so I got it months When I got it for months ago, I took it apart, like kind yeah. of just dry it and do it. I just took it apart, put it back together just to see how that kind of went. And then I put it away in the box. And then when you told me you got yours, I said, all right, now I'll take it. I'll shoot my video, which yeah. uh, will, um, hopefully um, that's a prerequisite. So watch Doug's review and <laughs> yeah, watch my review. Good. Pause this now. Go watch yeah, Doug's yeah, review. Go, go watch my <laughs> review. Yeah. And then come back. Okay, so we'll wait. <laughs> okay, glad. Good, good to have you back. I inked it with uh, with uh, co um, colored uh, water, with just uh, mm -hmm. uh, colored yeah, water. So you can see what's test, going on. Test, see what's going on. Um, and uh, and that's what I actually shot for my review. And then I inked it up for real, wrote with it a bit uh, on the review. And then I actually used it. This is the pen I actually used today, the mm -hmm. day we shooting this video, at the office. Mm -hmm. And I am back at an office. I'm actually not working from home anymore. Oh, so I started nice. a month ago working, yeah. going back to my office every day, which is good. good. Yeah. You notice me smiling. It's just yeah, a yeah. life-changing experience. Yeah. Um, um, so I did use this pen all day at the office today. It, uh, I, this might be one of my favorite pen BBS pens now. It's probably not quite up to there with, like, say, the 500. Yeah. But uh, maybe I have a thing for springy push-button yeah, yeah, filling push, system yeah, because I, yeah. between the 500 and this, those are probably my two favorite pen BBS um, pens now. It's just a tiny bit, and I do mean a tiny bit girthier than, say, a 309, uh, which is, it obviously shares a lot of design similarities yes. to externally. Yeah. And uh, the point that Doug and I were just discussing is where you can really feel the girth is in this little part where any given pen is going to rest in your hand. This, yeah. this piece part here, yeah. this is very sensitive. So even a tiny diameter there you're going to really notice it mm -hmm. and this is just a fraction girthier enough that you notice it and it's actually i really like the pen uh, uh quite a bit yeah. um it's uh it's just a nice pen it's got it's got um very premium feel to the uh clear uh, acrylic it's mm -hmm. like some similar it reminds me a little bit of my wingsong uh, 618 which for those mm -hmm. who watch my channel, known for years, has been my favorite inexpensive Chinese pen, bar none. Yep. Uh, at, you gave, right you gave so, me one. I did. I <laughs> one did. Of my I favorite did. Six I, <laughs> I did. I did. So I have a clear one that I've been using for years. Um, and uh, the clear acrylic is very, very premium on that. It doesn't discolor at all. I've had it for years. Yeah. And it uh, just has a very heavy, like thick kind mm -hmm. of premium feel to it. Yep. This is somewhat along those lines. Um, I just like the way whole way it's put together. I think the build quality on this is really, really good. They were giving a million caveats with this pen. Yeah. Please don't return it because you have to pump this like yeah. a couple of dozen times to get yeah, the yeah. ink in it. Because yeah. like, I think they felt people thought that was going to be a defect. Frankly, you can completely fill this pen. When I say completely fill this pen, this completely. thing I didn't measure, but this thing holds a lot of ink. Yeah, I haven't measured you know, yet. I'm in, going to. And I didn't count how many pumps it took me, but I'm going to guess about two dozen pumps. What does that yeah. take? Not even a minute. I mean, and it's a learning experience. It's not experience. a big deal. 
it's yeah, a learning it's a experience deal. because yeah. my first experience with it, I put it in the ink and I filmed this. I sort of did a teaser this week. I had it in the ink and I was pumping, pumping, pumping because my, this is my favorite wing song right now. This is the 601 flighter. But, but unlike has, the flighter, you can't see the flighter. You can't see what's going on inside it. When that's right. Yeah. But this yeah. one, I'll, yeah. you know, it's so easy. I plug it in my uh, yeah. Roche Zuku and pump, 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 pump until I don't hear any bubbles anymore. And it's right. full. And right. it, it lasts forever. Forever. Right. Uh, right. This one, I did the same thing. I took yeah. the end off. I put it in the ink. And I pump, 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 pump. Yeah. And I was watching it and I wasn't getting any ink. And so mm. then I, I, I pumped and let it go. And pump and let it go. Sort of let it slowly come up. So right. if I pumped at a certain rhythm, like yeah. that, I was getting a lot of good ink, and it only took. Th maybe that is six. essential if you do. An, if you have an old Parker vacuumatic, yes. That I know so many people who've gotten vintage Parkermatic, and they say, "Oh, it needs to be restored because it doesn't fill." I go, mm -hmm. "How are you filling it?" And they go, "Oh, I go pump, pump." I go, "No, no, 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 no." There's a cadence to it, believe it or not, and if because you don't do that, yeah. and it makes sense from a physics. Yeah point of view right so when you're yeah. left lifting that button off you create a vacuum yeah. and the ink has to fill that vacuum, and it has to overcome gravity and right. so it fills the vacuum and it spills over then you right. push down yeah. and you're only pushing a little bit of ink out you create another vacuum yeah but you have to let the ink fill that vacuum right. and it takes a little bit of a pace once i got that timing down yeah strokes strokes yeah strokes it took like six strokes and then it was absolutely full the thing about the vacuumatic unlike this the vacuumatic is a very difficult it might be the single most difficult pan to clean because you can't unlike this which you could just unscrew the section and and and, and wash it out the That's thing that i always recommend people get if you're into fountain pens at all really good tools to have and they're out of the house is a pair of nylon drawed pliers yes. they're very inexpensive yep. uh they're used in the drooling making industry so they're not it's not like a really esoteric thing you can find them on amazon or any place but they are really really invaluable I try to, I don't really put a metal tool on my fountain pens at all. If I have to put a tool at all, Are yeah, I there? use that. Mm -hmm. But if you have to really put a tool on it for whatever reason, I, I, I go with the nylon drawer pliers. Those work, yep. those work really, really well. Yeah. I think we're in agreement. We both like the filling system. Mm -hmm. I like the innovation that they've added this to their lineup of many right. different filling systems. Yet again, I mean, who has again. more filling systems than Pen BBS? And this is what I wanted to mention you to yeah, while yeah. you're recording, Alan, is that that question. Who mm -hmm. else on the planet is more innovative, has more acrylic, diff different acrylics available, has more models available, and more innovative filling systems than Pen well, BBS? I, I think, coming out with new okay, stuff. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. It's even more than that. It's not just at the moment, but whoever. In other words, if Ever. you look at the history of the fountain pen industry going back, I don't know, let's say 125 years, 100, yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe let's say 150. Yeah. In the entire history of the fountain pen industry, was there ever a company, if you added up the number of filling systems they made over the lifetime of them being in business, yeah. they, I don't think there's a single company that adds up to what Pen BBS is producing in production at a single yeah. point in time right now yeah and one of the introductions yeah. to one of my videos i named all of yeah. the new fillings just in the last yeah. since i've been collecting pen bbs yeah. the new filling system the new models the new nibs and all this kind right. of stuff and i actually when i looked at my video again i missed one i missed the 500 as oh well, yeah the five, and that's my favorite well, you and missed my favorite, favorite one, I missed your favorite <laughs> one. <laughs> and then we have this yeah. the new calligraphy nib yeah, no, that I, I, I did manage to snag one of those. I don't you have did? one. You did? You don't have I one? I did not. I do not I'm have one. I'm getting two next week. I will okay. send you one. Will oh, that would be one. awesome. That yeah. would be awesome. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. I know that they're going to be coming out with new ones right. uh, because Biney mentioned that there's a whole series coming out and showed photos right. of it. So we're looking forward to that. But this calligraphy nib, remember our last well, collaboration where we talked yeah, about Yeah, I was grousing about their want, lack of nib suction. That, that was my main gripe, nibs. yeah. I yeah. need, what about broad nibs? What about yeah. the stub nibs? All yeah. this kind of stuff. Well, here you go. But okay. this is That's a okay. lot of fun. You'll yeah, have a lot okay. of fun with it. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm, I'm, thank you very much. I'm looking forward to it. Maybe I'll put, maybe I'll put that nib in my, in this 
bad. Yeah, but you said the nib. bad nib writes beautiful in this one. They, but they all do. I don't they think I've got. Do. A, I don't think I've ever gotten a dud nib from Pen BVS. That's a whole other thing. I, I, I bought maybe I 25, of, 30 Pen BVS. Yeah. I think maybe one was not. Really I good. can't think of a single manufacturer, including Mont Blanc, that I could make the statement that I've never gotten a dud nib. Yeah. Dud nib from. Yeah. But every single time we get one no, of these no. out of the box. I yes, never have a doubt. Dry. I don't even. Th- I don't even think about it. It's, it's they're dry yeah. when yeah. they start, but I've even without flossing, I've discovered yeah. that just pressing those seven strokes. Yeah, open <laughs> this. Up. This is now a really wet writer. This is an amazing fountain pen. Now I'm going to talk mm. about some of the things I don't like. Let's hear. In it. Advance. What don't you like? What don't you like? Uh, well, first of all, it is the 308. I think they've just taken the 308 and adjusted. The barrel. Right. Maybe that barrel is different. I'm going to measure. For okay. my, I'm going to I measure think it's that. girthier. It just I feels think you're girthier. Right. And now that yeah. when you mentioned it, I think you're right. But yeah. this piece on the back is new. So I just thought they took a 308, cut the barrel, and chopped it, and, yeah. and did the threading on it and added this extra piece, redesigned the feed for the breather tube. But it's a 308. Right. And one of the nice things about the 308 is that it posts. And yeah, this no, this doesn't, doesn't post. Po- this, this doesn't post. Yeah. So yeah. as a test model, so I'm not going to uh, flight uh, Zhilong 2 right. for this pen because he's testing the market to see right. whether this is viable or not. I'm telling you, Long, this yeah. is viable. This is a oh, great yeah. pen. We this is like a great this. pen. Yeah. I want yeah. this in a 456 body. I want this in. I want this in a 308 body that actually the pen post like the 308 no okay i just thought I of something like you said that. that if i could pick a body that i would yep. want this filling mechanism in yep. think let's think about okay what comes to mind when i say a pen bbs pen that really is a killer aesthetically except the filling mechanism is just just doesn't work right is that right 492 the, the not, magnetic not, fill yeah, yeah. This the, year the, this, the, year, yeah. the year of the rat the year of the rat the year of the rat uh yeah. do i have it here i don't think i have it here I I, I, yeah, I got it right away. here. I got it right yeah. here. No, I got it right here. Four nine two. Yeah, yeah. So this take the, pen, take the magnets out. This pen, yeah. This this whole magnet thing is we yeah. we beaten this subject yeah, yeah. to death. It's a yeah, gimmick. It doesn't, it doesn't work. Yeah. Right, blah blah whatever. You know, they, you can't win them all. But yeah. this pen is a killer. Looks wise, aesthetically. Yes, it is. Just just put this filling mechanism yeah. in this pen. Yeah. Right? There you go. Yeah, but so this I works. Think, but this I think works. you're right. Yeah, that's yeah. that's a good idea to put that yeah. system in that 492 body yeah. style. Great pen because it's a 308. So it's the right. flagship model. They put right. a new filling system in the 308, and uh, we like the filling system. It works. Yep. It actually yep. works. Yep. And it's old it's, school. It's old school. It's right? old school, but it, it, like it's I said, it works. Don't, and the and the fact that you have to pump it two dozen times it doesn't matter. No, no. one's going to care. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, it's really fine. But let's not forget the main problem with a filling system like this would is again pumping it out to clean it, but you don't have to pump it out to clean it because well, it opens right up. So I, that's the other. That's thing. right. I just cleaned yeah. this tonight, just yeah. about 15 minutes before we got together, right. and it was full of ink. Yep. And I took the the pen apart. Yeah. And I put I've got a bulb that you get at the yep. hardware store, the drugstore, and I cut the the end off of that. Mm-hmm. The, the the little breather fits right on there. Yeah, there you go. And just boom, 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 pumped it, and this was clean. Poured this out, and then just rinsed it, and it's clean. They mitigated the big problem with a filling system like this by making the fact that you can disassemble it. Yeah. And this pen completely disassembles both yes. Doug's video and my video. Uh, I show you a preview, and I tell yeah. you on my video, we both completely disassemble this using nothing but our fingers. Yes. It works. Uh, it uh, it's a very easy pen to disassemble. So this is a real winner. This thing really, really is. Yeah. All I did was I put my elastic. Yeah. And it yeah. comes right out. Oh, very good, very good. Well, I'm um, looking forward to seeing your review. I'm sure yours will be up this Friday. Mine will be up this Friday. It's all it's all locked and loaded and ready to go. And so mine will be up on Saturday. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I want to thank you, Alan, for doing this. It's way too long. We got to do it more often. Oh yeah, we got definitely got to do it. Uh, we get, definitely have to do it uh, more uh, more often. There's certainly enough pens in the world to do it on. So that's no shortage of that. Well, maybe we'll, I'll send you the calligraphy nib. Maybe oh yeah, that's, that's a good idea. That. We can we can we can talk about the nib. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. That'd be a lot yeah. of fun. Let's do it. Thanks, Alan. Thank you, Doug. Have a good one. Bye. I made this.